Well, thank you very much. It's my great honor to have the very popular and, by the way, great athlete, <laughs> one of the greatest, but very popular Prime Minister of Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> All right, guys, as I'm sure you probably haven't heard, Imran Khan made his first visit to the White House to meet Hazrat Donald Trump. Trump. So this is the first visit Imran Khan has made to the White House. I look forward to my conversation. Mr. President, Pakistan and the Pakistan. Pakistan it's your heart, then you're cold. You're yes, then you know. You're in. A few things on the agenda was Kashmir, trade, terrorism of course. We'll actually see what materializes out of these talks, yeah? Naturally guys, it's Trump. It's Pakistan for God's sake and it's gotta be comedy, yeah? Imagine the reason. How do you plan to show foresight about Pakistan's relationship? How can we send them to India? And secondly, you know, after your campaign, what kind of promises if you are elected again? What kind of promises you are Inshallah. I wonder how Donald Trump translated that in his head. I'm gonna go with enchiladas. And it is an honor to have you with us. Well, ew, gross. Classy, Imran Bai. Wiping one would have been too suspicious. Two? Hey. I have plans on Afghanistan that if I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be gone. It would be over in literally in 10 days. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just admit that genocide was one of your plans? Trump, do you think that the Muslim countries would stand there and watch you decimate and destroy an entire nation? and they would do absolutely nothing? Do you really think that, mate? Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, they are supine and spineless as it is. But who knows, maybe one of them would stand up and get replaced by one of your puppets. I have many friends from Pakistan. Well, you're clearly ashamed of them, mate, because we've never seen one of them. It could just be that they've just gone back home. If they want to leave, they can leave, John. Green, beautiful cash. That's called many plane loads of cash. I think Pakistan would like to have some of that cash. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's like just dangling a piece of meat in front of a dog just before feeding time. Uh, they put their finger up in the air and this finger, the thumb. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He probably skipped kindergarten because it was too smart. Good, I want a couple of Pakistani reporters. I like them, I like them much better than our reporters. You like Pakistani reporters or you like the people that have been installed there to make sure that they give news that is pro-West. You are the president who fulfilled all your promises. <laughs> you made I do. Campaign. I do. And it's in Operation Mockingbird if you think I am exaggerating. But Congress has given them $92 billion. Pakistan would like some of that, right? I mean, how do you answer that without sounding desperate and pathetic? What's he gonna say? Nah, we don't need your money. Do you look away? Do you look at him? I need that footage. Guys, it is the time where the ignorant have become powerful and the intelligent have to befriend them just so they're not going to be harmed by their stupidity. But another top tip that we can take away from this is, you know, you guys know Pakistan was receiving 1.8 billion in aid from the US every year. And this is something we can apply to our daily life. Inshallah. Don't put yourself in a receiving position because that makes you weak. Always try and keep yourself in a giving position. That gives you more respect and more influence. Givers are better than takers. That being said, until next time guys. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Assalamu alaikum.